So hi, I have this uh, Honda hybrid cells and I tried to find the uh, data sheets but I couldn't really find all the cells data. What I found is that of course we have here 12 cells. If we consider this is nickel metal hydride batteries so uh, the maximum charge per cell is 1.5 volts and the uh, maximum discharge or let's say the minimum allowed voltage is about uh, 900 millivolt per cell and the total capacity is about 6 amp hour this is what I found I'm not sure about all the data because I didn't find for each individual cell the data sheet by the way it's pretty heavy it's about one kilogram I think this pack maybe even more so what I want to do now is to try to uh, fully uh, charge it and then fully discharge it so I will consider it not as 1.5 volts because I seen that uh, the maximum charge is about 15.4 volts so maybe I will try to, to charge it to 16 volts, something like this. And then we will do a discharge test and we will see if the capacity is uh, 6 amp hour. Of course, this is also, so maybe it will be half, I, I'm not sure. But let's try to find it out. So I'm charging now for 16 volts, maybe uh, two amps by the way but it is uh, close to 16 so the uh, current is decreasing so maybe I will charge to 17 volts so you can see now the current is uh, up for two amps so I will charge to 17 volts and then we will do the discharge test and uh, make sure that the batteries do not heat too much but uh, as I think uh, the maximum charge allowed is 1.5 volt per cell so uh, it can be up to 18 volts because 12 multiplied by 1.5 is exactly 18 volts so anyway to be on the safe side I will charge to 17 volts and then we will check uh, this charge and uh, we will discharge it not with high current let's say about uh, 2 amp or 3 amp so eventually if the batteries are new from the factory uh, it will last about 2 hours to get to 6 amp hours so let's see how it will work So this was fully charged, you can see that the current is dropped to 700 milliamps. So consider this is fully charged and now we will do the discharge test and uh, check how much capacity in these cells. So I've set this here to check that the voltage is not lower than uh, 10 point. Uh, 8 volt now we will connect the discharge and before th this we will reset all the numbers here okay and now we will start the discharging So connecting now and let's do discharge of two amps. So we're uh, two amps and testing the capacity of this cell. Uh, this is a better look so the voltage is 16.4 it will get to 10.8 and then it will stop the discharging
also we can see uh, the total battery capacity currently is uh, 0 0.02 uh, amp hour which means less than a uh, 100 milliamp hour but it is continue to this charge so let's wait and see the results so this charge continue we can see right now already close to 2 amp hours and the voltage is 13.9 volt again it can be down to 10.8 volt so we have a lot of capacity to discharge and this is continuing so eventually I uh, continue to charge at 3 amps because it's taking too long so no, now we can see that we already have 4.42 amp hours and the voltage is 12.43 which means that the capacity it looks to me that it will be more than 6 amp hours but let's continue and see the final results so I was wrong it suddenly dropped I will show you if I apply a current discharge it immediately falls below a 10.8 very fast fall if I am at 1 amps you will see it now so the total capacity is 4.75 amp hour that's all for now you see it is close to stop so that's all thank you and bye